This video is brought to you by SaneBox. More about them a little later in the video. Are you tired of staring at a blank email, wondering how you should reply or create a new message? Well, if you're a Google Gemini user, we can take advantage of AI directly here from within Gmail. We're gonna get started by coming all the way down to the bottom and to the right of your send button, you will see that there is an icon called Help Me Write. By selecting this, we get this Help Me Write button and a few other buttons that will become available once we've added some text or once we've input some information. So I'm gonna go ahead and select Help Me Write, and this is where we can enter in our prompt. Now it's only a single line. I don't know what the maximum number of characters are, but of course you don't have to give it a whole lot of detail to get something worthwhile. So here I've given it this prompt. I want it to write an email to a potential client who is wanting to pay at the end of the project Project instead of a deposit up front. Express that I'm hoping we can revise the agreement to reflect this. Here I can go to the right and select create, and of course AI is going to do its magic, and it's important to note it's not going to input it directly into my email just yet. So before we get to the content of what it's come up with here, you can see that there's this line around the content, and there's even a little X here, which I can use immediately to close or remove this. But down at the very bottom of the email, you can see that we now have this big blue button which will allow us to insert that content. Nothing will go into the email itself until we say so. But we also have a few other options available to us here as well. We can recreate, meaning we can ask it to do another version of this using the exact same prompt that we did, but we can also choose to refine it. I'm gonna come down here to this refine drop down, and here I've got three options available to me. I can make it more formal, I can choose to elaborate, or I can choose to shorten. Now, if I find that I haven't given it the most appropriate prompt, or perhaps it's not coming up with what I'm looking for, I've got one of two options. I can hit this X button here, and this will close everything down and bring me back to the beginning where I can enter in a new prompt, or I can come right up here and select the prompt itself. Itself. So in this example, I'm going to say an email to a new client who has not been satisfied with my service suggests that we set up a free consultation. I'm going to go ahead and select update in this case, and you will notice by the response that it's given that there is no mention of the agreement or the contract from the previous prompt. Just keep in mind, every time that you go to change the prompt, it is not going to remember the previous one. You are basically starting fresh or this is a single prompt line each and every time. Let's say I am happy with this one. I can't edit anything yet until I select insert and now it has been put into my email. I can go ahead and either add my name here or just remove it since I have my signature down below. And of course, I'm also gonna come up here and make sure that I mention them by name. You may want to do a double check in terms of how many brackets or boilerplate information is there. The last thing you want to do is send out an email that says, hi, client's name. So make sure to do a double check before you hit send. Now, if you'd like AI to make managing your email that much easier, I recommend you check out SaneBox. With AI technology, SaneBox prioritizes essential messages, saving you hours of time each week. And by learning from your behavior, SaneBox will clean up your inbox, get rid of spam, and organize your emails into relevant folders. Best of all, SaneBox works with any email provider. To get started, go to sanebox.com simpletivity or click the link in the description below.